If you've ever seen a construction site in Ghana and wondered, what's all this steel, wood, and concrete doing out here in the open? It might look messy, but it's a carefully layered system, and it's very different from how buildings go up in the U.S. What you're looking at is a cast-in-place concrete slab. That grid of steel rods, that's rebar. It strengthens the concrete so it doesn't crack under pressure. In these gray blocks, they're filler blocks placed between beams to reduce the amount of concrete needed without weakening the floor. All that wood below, that's called formwork. It holds everything in place while the concrete is wet. And the poles, those are support props. They carry the weight of the slab until the concrete cures and it could hold itself. The steel rods sticking out are the future columns. This whole structure is going up floor by floor and every element is reinforced by hand. Now compare that to the US. Over there, you're more likely to see wood frame houses or commercial buildings with steel frame and prefab panels. Materials are often pre-cut, walls snapped together like Legos. Speed is the name of the game because labor is expensive and time really is money. But in Ghana, it's different. Labor is more affordable, so they do the work on site. It's not rushed, it's hands-on. And because the climate here is hot and humid, concrete makes sense. It doesn't rot and it doesn't burn and termites don't stand a chance. But it's not without its trade-offs. Concrete work takes time to cure. Rain could delay progress, and if the concrete mix is off or the supervision is sloppy, things could go wrong. So quality control matters. The thing is, construction reflects more than just engineering. It reflects the economy, the climate, and the culture. Ghana builds strong and steady. The US builds fast and prefab. Neither is better, they just serve different needs. So the next time you walk by a site like this, don't just see wood, metal, and dust. See the logic, the craft, and a structure rising, not just from the ground up, but from deep cultural roots.